All right, family, it's your brother aside. And I'm Adrian. And we are back again with another quick bit. How, how Ricky do it? Quick. <laughs> I think that's in the edit. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I don't know how you do that. I ain't do it. I'll be the I'll be the cheerleaders <laughs> in the back. Yay! <laughs> shout out to Ricky. Ricky. <laughs> yeah, shout out to Ricky and Crystal, man. <laughs> but uh, the Jones don't keep up, don't keep up, don't keep up with the Joneses. So um, let's start over. All right, friends, your brother aside. <laughs> I'm Adrian. And we are back again with another quick video. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notifications bell so that you'll be notified when we drop new material on this channel. Secondly, in terms of housekeeping, I got to give a special and a significant and a particular and a peculiar shout out to my South African family for all the love you guys have shown this channel. My wife, myself, my churn, 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 my churn. We greatly appreciate it. Third, in terms of housekeeping, bam, 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 just like that. Bam, bam, bam. Mm, my mouth dry. Oh, okay. Mm. <laughs> not, not again. They're going to be like, what's wrong? <laughs> <laughs> my mouth dry uh, third, uh, the third in terms of housekeeping we gotta give a special and a significant and a particular and a peculiar shout out to the rest of the family Hello. to the UK family to the Ireland family I don't know if the Ireland part of the far. UK yeah I don't know if that's, I don't even know where that's, that's at people don't care about you. yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to the Texas family the North Carolina family South Carolina family mm -hmm. the Philly family the Chicago family the um the um the Atlanta family, the Florida family, the Louisiana family, the New Orleans family, because they're what? Two separate things. We see y'all, we appreciate y'all, we love y'all, thank y'all for watching. We hit 10,000 subscribers! Hit 10,000. 10,000! Bam, 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 bam! Just about. <laughs> it only took a decade. Hey, listen. <laughs> you know, progress is a slow process. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you get in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, yeah. Old Pep taught me that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, pimp told me that. He also told me that everybody on their knees ain't praying. Think about it. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Thank y'all. 10,000. We really appreciate it, man. I can't believe it. You know, like, when I sit back and think, dang, 10,000 people follow us? The sit us look, I, don't, I got my mom on my phone and my thing shaking. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What's going on? Oh, you keep moving your leg. Probably. Yeah, my leg, yeah. Come on now. So, um, <laughs> but yeah, we, we really appreciate you guys supporting the channel. Yeah. We really yeah. do. And we need to do a, uh, how y'all doing? We need to do a, um, a, a, a meetup soon. Yeah. And to celebrate the 10,000. Um, you know, we'll get DJ Icon to come out there, be on the ones and twos. Um, we might have a little birthday cake and, a, and get the little, uh, that's New Orleans for birthday, 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 birthday cake and, and get, a, um, <laughs> the little balloons that say 10 and the cake. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. What, what, what we want to do with that? I don't know. I don't know. Let's do that. Let's do that, Jamilis. I'm gonna holler at Jamilis and see if we could turn up over there. Yeah, yeah. Or, or maybe. Um, what would be really fire is if, like, people who came out in the very beginning, when we first, you know, started having meetups in South Africa. That'd be Sandile. That'd be uh, the brother from Madeira. Swaziland. Yeah, yeah. I haven't seen him since that first one. They acting funny. Right. Acting funny. He might have moved along in life. He might have yeah. moved somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> you know, everybody be trying to escape uh, South Africa. Everybody, I'm, why y'all trying to leave? <laughs> what is going on? I'm trying. To. Every every time I talk to somebody, they oh guess uh, you came here. I want to move there, and I'm like y'all don't y'all ain't watching the news. Maybe, <laughs> but then I guess they telling me maybe maybe you ain't watching South African news. But I do. Mm. I watch SABC. I follow Newsroom Africa. I watch all that stuff. I see they got stuff going on. They had some shootings uh, last week. Yeah, they had some shootings and stuff. Mm. I said, well, hold up now. <laughs> was, it in, it was, in, uh, was it in Waterfall? No. <laughs> I rest my case. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Listen. Yeah, no. No, no, it was, it was, <laughs> I don't know, it was, I want to say it was people in Cape Town, like, something like that, yeah, I want to, mm, stay away from the Cape Town streets. They say Cape Town is the most dangerous city here, yeah. but let me tell you, how, no, they don't, no, it's the truth, like, they got gangs in Cape Town, they got, like, 
the Americans, they call themselves the Americans, they got a whole gang in Cape Town. And but what's crazy is that if you ask uh, around, people will be acting like Cape Town is safe. No, Cape Town. I mean, I'm not no disrespect to my people in Cape Town, but I looked at the stats and it's like Cape Town. It's like Cape Town, Pretoria, Durban, Joe Berg. I mean, it's only like four major cities: Cape Town, Durban, Pretoria, Joe Berg. But if I'm not mistaken, it might be Pretoria might be the, the number one, and then Cape Town. But Joe Berg is not the number one. Let me put it to you like that. Uh, and Cape Town is more dangerous than Joburg, right? But I think what they start saying is that it's concentrated in the flats, mm. right? Ooh, big fly. It's concentrated in the flats. And so they act like, well, this little, I ain't going to say the white part of town, but whatever, you know what I'm saying, it's, it's safe. Uh, matter of fact, we were at, we were at um, a lunch with some colleagues, and, and uh, I think they went to Stellenbosch. Mm. Or something like that. Oh no, they no no. They went to UCT. Okay. And they would say, "Oh, I never worried in in and when I was in Cape Town or whatever." Blah 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 Why? blah. And she and she was like, "But I." <clears throat> and she lived over this way, like over in yeah. in waterfall area. And she was like, "But I always worry in Joburg." I'm like, "For real?" Psychological effery of it. That all. that's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. It's straight. It's like you, you, you know the data, and you still go go against the data. Maybe she was impacted by the complexion for protection. No, you know? she was. She just a sister. No, but I'm saying sometimes psychologically people think, oh, it's I'm around a lot of white, so I must be safe, kind of thing. That's very after US all. Thinking. After all the stuff they've done to us, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Something's wrong. <laughs> something's wrong. We don't. Yeah, something's wrong. Yeah, that all might have this... been it. She was like, "Oh, they wouldn't do anything here." Right. I don't get it. The sad part though is like you'll be the one that's the victim. You know. I remember when people used to come to New Orleans, like for graduate school and stuff. And, hey, do let's bike ride through the night war. Let's I'm, for what? You crazy? You know. But I was like, if I go with you, I'll be the victim. Mm. <laughs> if I'm riding, no one's gonna mess with you. <laughs> but they're gonna see like, oh, her, she the one. If I'm riding no. a bike through the streets of New Orleans. I got a strap on. I got a big old <laughs> army rifle uh, on my back. <laughs> and I'm on, and I'm having a, a helmet on. I'm having a helmet and and an M16. Yeah, yeah. You remember we used to be crazy. Like we would go running like at 11 o'clock at night. This is when yeah. we first got married. We didn't have any children. Maybe things weren't that bad. We just were, we were silly. <laughs> you know you be feeling brave when you're young yeah you feel brave when you're young you know you do all kind of weird stuff but um <laughs> you know but yeah we used to run around like 11 o'clock but the area where we were running wasn't like horrible no no you know but you know like so like here and and here's what i've noticed about so some cities are like this and some cities are not some cities are really segregated you have like the you know the east side is where the bad people reside you know the east side is a bad it's the hood the rest of the city might be a little safe you still have poor pockets but it'll be safe right we don't have that in in new orleans and i think a lot of uh, there's a few other cities that i've noticed don't have it it's like it's street to street it's block to block you know like you're right here you may have three good blocks of stuff mm -hmm. and then you can roll into like some foolishness real quick <laughs> Like St. Charles Avenue, all oh, that's nice and beautiful. Two blocks off of St. Charles is the gutter. You know what I'm saying? So, mm. yeah. So just ride, just running around. But anyway, and we went down that tangent. Yeah, 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 yeah. I forgot. We, I forgot how we got there. I forgot how we got there. <laughs> so anyway, um, um, so old Kamla. I told y'all the last time I was mispronouncing her name. I don't know if it's Kamla, Kamala. I know it's not Kamala. That's the because that sound too. Kamala, right? Kamala sound really black, and I think they be trying to move away from that. Kamala, Kamala. It's, it's Kamala. Kamala. It's, it's Kamala. It's, it's Kamala. <laughs> anyway, that's how you pronounce it. Kamala, like the comma la. Uh -huh. So um. Anyway, so she looked like she um doing her thing, huh? Let the media tell her. Yeah. Yeah, it look like she doing her thing. She's so, definitely got the, the corporate media on her side. And they are, yeah, they're doing what they do for her. So. Right. 
I mean, I'm look, look. Here's here's the thing. Y'all already know who I'm supporting. I've been told y'all I'm on I'm on the Cornell West thing. I don't even know if he's gonna be on the ballot in the, <laughs> in the state, but that's who I'm supporting. I ain't no I ain't no turco. I ain't no traitor. Uh uh, I'm loyal. I'm loyal. That one thing they say about say aside. Oh no! What happened to no permanent friends, no permanent enemies, no, no permanent uh, interests? No, I'm saying because he's 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 talking to my interest, so I'm gonna be okay, loyal. Okay. Right. But um. I ain't mad if Kamala win because now she's an HBCU graduate. Y'all don't understand the significance of having an HBCU, a historically black college and university graduate in the White House. She's a member of the Divine Nine. Now, I know my South African family <laughs> don't necessarily know about fraternities and sororities. Y'all seen like movies and stuff, but y'all don't maybe don't understand the significance of th that's. Um, you know, being initiated into a fraternity or sorority, Adrian and I are both initiated, right? Being a part of the D9 is, 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 it carried a lot of weight necessarily back in the days, and it still carries weight because guess what? The D9 people, yeah, they are, they be talking about the boule. What well, are not no boule? I ain't in no secret uh, uh, organization controlling the world. Uh, if I did, they owe me some money because right. they ain't cut me a check yet. Controlled a thing. <laughs> right? <laughs> but a lot of your judges, a lot of your lawyers, a lot of doctors, uh, number one, they come from HBC. I mean, we're talking about black people. Your, your lawyers, your judges, your doctors, your engineers come from black schools. A lot of them, like a disproportionate amount, come from black schools. And also a lot of them are members of the D9 or the Divine Nine mm -hmm. Black Greek fraternities Black Greek letter fraternities and sororities so it would be phenomenal to see that mm. to see like because cause Barack didn't come from that no no we like Barack but Barack ain't had that lineage well she don't have the lineage either right but <laughs> she, 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 don't don't lineage lineage either. Either. Nah, she don't have the lineage either no she don't have the lineage either no 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 we can't go too far now right. she don't have the lineage but she got an she got a certain experience that black college experience is is just something that you cannot describe it's like you can go to the best black school like uh, Howard or Hampton or Morgan State or North Carolina a t or you can go to some of the smaller ones. It's still a similar experience. Mm -hmm. It's still something about four years that you are in this place surrounded by black excellence, surrounded by black PhDs and black professors and other black students who are truly academically gifted who are looking to change the trajectory trajectory of their lives and of their parents lives so many of people that attend hbcus are first generation college students first generation of uh, 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 people in their family to go to college and those people end up changing the traje trajectory i'm having trouble with that word I don't know why. of their the, let me tell you me, okay listen that and kamala <laughs> let, let, no, let me give you all a story no let me give you all a story <laughs> we got five minutes we got five minutes i'm gonna give you all a story then we're gonna talk about miss essay and then we're gonna go and the so, school oh in the school oh yes yeah, so we got uh, the story gonna be quick 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 so my mama has eight brothers and sisters, or she had you know, a few of them in the past, and my mama's 85. My mama grew up in a small little house, two room, three room house, with eight brothers and sisters, a mama and a daddy. We're talking about poverty. When my mama and, and her brothers and sisters and her siblings would have Christmas, when Christmas would come around, all the other little kids maybe in the neighborhood got a ball, they got a doll, they got some sort of toy. My mom and her siblings would get apples and oranges. That's how poor they were. However, by whatever stroke of luck or whatever a stroke of intelligent design, they were able to go to Gramlin State University. And from Gramlin State University, they graduated, they became teachers. Well, some of them went to Southern, uh, but they became teachers, social workers, uh, speech pathologists, uh, a chemist. We got all of that in one generation. They went from being in that abject poverty to being into the middle class to where I never knew, like, uh, getting an orange or an apple for Christmas. I would I would have an utter fit. I would cut up, right? Because that wasn't my reality. So an HBCU did that. An HBCU took them people from poverty to the middle class to whatever the, the generation that came after them uh, went. So that's the important HBCUs. All right, the schooling and, and Alex. 
Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know what's wrong with her. <laughs> we got we got somewhere to go. We busy today. We do. Today. We're running we late. Busy today. We, no, yeah, we, we went got... to visit. I think it's called Kogolo. Kogolo. Lo. What's it? We'll have to share that name in the thing. <laughs> it's a school Academy in Alex. In Alex. It's a sister from Kentucky who married a brother from Alex yes. and they started a school in Alex. Yes. And this is a phenomenal yes. school. These children it were so is. intelligent and well behaved. They are going to change the trajectory of their lives and their families' lives. These children are going to be somebody. These children would, might be the next president of uh, South Africa. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Next president of the EFF. Next president of the DA. Hold up! <laughs> Brilliant children. Brilliant children. These these children was they, listen, y'all. So we um uh we're gonna donate and support to the school. Yeah. You know, we ain't got no money, but we're gonna help out. We're gonna try to find something, you know. Right. I might make some sandwiches or something, you know. <laughs> <laughs> sandwiches? <laughs> you know, but they, there's a phenomenal school, so I'll put the name of the school in the thing yeah, in the yeah. uh, in the description, or at least in, in the, the comment. Too. Yeah, I put a com. I'll put a pin a comment. So if y'all feel like y'all want to give five rand, ten rand, or whatever have you, I don't even know if they have a donation button on their website. I haven't looked. I'm but, not sure. I don't. I'm sure they do. But we can leave contact information. Right, 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 right. Yeah. All right. So <clears throat> before we go, I gotta give you this analogy. No, it's not an analogy. So, last video we called South Africa to the front of the class oh, behind me. <laughs> I gotta say it. I gotta say it. So, listen, I'm not gonna say South Africa. I'm gonna use my own city. Keep it on me. Right? So, if for one day they say we're gonna have a Miss New Orleans, uh, Lu uh, not, not Louisiana, I'm about to mess up, but Miss New Orleans pageant, right? And they got all of these sisters up there. And they got one sister from Atlanta. Yeah. She's not from New Orleans. She's from Atlanta. Right? And she <laughs> looked like she about to win. I'm going to be like, man, get this girl out of here. She from Atlanta. She's not from New Orleans. Get her out of here. She's not from New Orleans. Get her out of here. She got to go. Oh, okay. they, uh, they agree. But now, <laughs> if they say, okay. This white girl who born and raised in New Orleans, right? Because it's, 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 a, it's a about 20% of them now. If they say this white girl about to be Miss New Orleans, I'm going to say, bring that girl from Atlanta back over here. <laughs> Bro, get... <laughs> no. Yeah, so it's certain. Yeah, that's how I look at it. Like, bring that girl from Atlanta. Cause at least she looked more like New Orleanians than you know. You know what I'm saying? And we know how the how the white girl got here. We know what she did. She colonized and enslaved to get here. So, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm gonna go with this girl from Atlanta. That's just my take on it. Y'all use that analogy however you like. <laughs> All right, y'all. Y'all have a good one.